Scarcasm. We are hanging with Scarcasm. And the people that I'm hanging out with is Blue and Scar. And me. Okay. They are, or we are, Scarcasm. And you guys are hanging with Scarcasm right now. You kind of lose it when you have to explain it. I know. That was the joke. I'm just, that was the just joke. You, I'm, Explaining I'm the joke over. is the joke. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we, we got Turnstile here. When we did the Turnstile music video for um, their uh, Turnstile Love Connection, one of the comments suggested that we do a live video from um, Hate56. And Hate56, dude's a badass. He, he's been doing uh, live recordings of, of shows. It started at uh, This Is Hardcore Fest, I think think and then he kind of got some some older stuff so he does have some older like videos from the 90s and 2000s and whatnot but i'm not sure it actually started that this is hardcore but that's the first ones that i saw is from that festival but dude you know has multi-camera setups and just edits and has people come in and record like professionally to get the the music in this like high quality stuff and now dude has he's been like covered in like Rolling Stone and shit like dude's dude's awesome but I think um, yeah most subscribers if, if that was the case well I, I mean it's hardcore it's not it's not it's, it's not so um y y you know it's not like it's fucking S market it's not market. ultra mage mm -hmm. yeah it's not he's not like filming Katy Perry or anything but he, he did I think he did do the Rage Against the Machine thing I don't know if he just took pictures or if he got the film, but I haven't saw, seen them online yet. But the the, the newest the newest um when they when they got their act together. But anyway, this is Turnstile. This is from uh, they 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 didn't give me a complete um a specific video, so I picked one around the 2017 2018 because I wanted them to see them like play um a, a song like what I'm about to do, which is Drop. It's it it's a quick song, but it's to me the perfect song to like let someone listen to if they never heard Turnstile. Even though the first thing I let you guys listen to was the video, but um, the drop is just so groovy and just like it's it's just a simple, just good track. So let's get to this. And it's also the last song on the set, so you know people are gonna be going fucking nuts, you know. So here Shut we go. Up. I'm getting in there, Scott. No, I'm weirded out by the white people. Like, this is disturbing. Wow, they make, hey, they, 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 they make it a mess. They move around. around. They're popping on the stages. They're jumping off into each other. Like, that's what they do. It's the white people shit right here. Bro. Would you hate to be in the front row? Yeah. I would. I think I think being in the front row kind of gives you a little bit of a license. If you know what's gonna happen, so you maybe like you want to get some aggression out. Like you might be a bunch of motherfuckers too. Like that was quick, but that was man. That was they were going ham, boy. Yeah, but um, this is another version of Drop from, that was from 2017, this is from 2021, the uh, the release, record release for Glow On, which is a great album, which we watched a video for a, couple, for a few songs for that, so here is Drop 2021. Much better recording. Yeah. I just saw a brother. Did you? Yeah, my man had cornrows and everything. Good. 
Is it a rule in the band to have no shirts on? Drum ain't got no shirt. Two people with guitars ain't got no shirt. Two so. people with mic ain't got no shirt. It. Oh. Felt it. It was just kind of. It's kind of like. It's kind of like one of those songs, like on an R and B album. It's that one song that's not like really a full song, but it's just a kind of like. It's, it's that interlude it's, track. Yeah, it's the interlude track. He's like, we're, like, we're going to make a song. The song, the whole song is the hook. <laughs> the whole song is the hook. <laughs> you know. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know. It's just that grooviness and stuff. I, I just. Yeah. Sometimes I'm like, what if I'm going to introduce someone to hardcore? What am I going to do? And I used to think it was the video for Wake the Dead by Turn uh, Comeback Kid, but then I was like, any turnstile, anything live recorded by <laughs> Eight Five Six is what I'm going to show people because, like, you just don't under like people like, oh man, this looks stupid or whatever, but you just don't understand unless you're there. It's just a room full of energy, man. It's, I don't know. It definitely <laughs> seems that way, but I'm definitely would be in the back. For sure. And I definitely am, am, would like to interview security after it and say, how crazy was your job tonight? Because you have to think security? if somebody, yeah, because <laughs> people are jumping into other ain't, people. Ain't no security. Obviously, there ain't no security, dog. Yeah. <laughs> Just wondering, like, how do you, how do you, how do you do have I, I've seen videos, or, I've seen videos of like a hardcore band like Turnstile or Knock Loose or um, Code Orange or like one of the bigger hardcore bands that have made it to where they're playing festivals and stuff. Like, uh, what's the big festival in Tennessee and stuff? I can't even remember. Bonnaroo, like, they're playing stuff like that. And um, it's so weird seeing a band like this playing at a festival where there's a barricade nobody staged I mean it just seems so empty <laughs> you know <laughs> you're like I guess if that's I, yeah I gotta understand it because if, if this is what the normal is right to yeah cut, to cut out this element probably seems very foreign to the people because mm -hmm. there's literally like if you listen hear. to a hardcore album and there's like there's parts in the song to where you hear group vocals that they recorded they got their friends together and recorded actual group vocals they don't just do that mm -hmm. because, oh, this is something we want on the song. No, they do that because that's what's going to happen live. They want people to sing along to those parts. Like, hardcore, the only reason it's on an album is just to for archivable, archival purposes. Hardcore... It's speaking for distribution, right? So people can... People can right, but it's, 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 it, it, it lives in the live setting. Right. Have you ever heard of Bang Camaro? Mm -mm. Say that one more time. Bang Camaro. No, because it's almost sounded like you said sounds like that dude that you that this on Jackass or something. Uh, ben Margera. <laughs> um, Bang, Bang Camaro. I got introduced to them by playing the Guitar Hero games, and they are. I uh, I know they have some sort of connection to harmonics, but instead of having a singer, it is a chorus of drunk frat boys. That do the vocals for the songs, <laughs> all of the songs. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. They have, they have, they have like a, a few guitars and, and some drums and stuff like that, but like, literally, the singing part is done by a chorus of drunk frat boys. Man, that's crazy. That's we should, what, we, that's should, we should totally do one of those songs at some point. I think we got this one. All right, yep. man. Yeah, Turnstile's great, man. And it's, it, and I'm glad that the days of 
saying a band is sold out or they're not or whatever is over that kind of gatekeeping is over because I love seeing a band like them go and you're seeing them on like Jimmy Kimmel or something and they're still doing the, they're still like true to themselves you know what I mean and it's you saw you getting choked up over there like are you okay dog? no it's, nah, it's his beer dog yeah this it's his beer <laughs> giving him burps <laughs> yeah like it's like it's not like he was getting choked up like, I, I mean I'm I mean, so I good to I, see <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could. Uh, I mean, I do. I do get emotional when it comes to hardcore. Like, like yeah, I, I talk about black metal and all this stuff and doom metal and stuff. But like, everything that is me comes from hardcore. <laughs> was just kind of. He was just kind of pausing, sounded like he was getting choked up, maybe a little bit confused. He almost went. He almost went full Joe Biden. Like, I don't need you to go full <laughs> Joe Biden. Like, I mean, <laughs> bring this back a little bit. Okay, it was the beer. All right, cool. Like, we got yeah. it. It's the beer. <laughs> but yeah. It's it, it's great to see, you know what I mean. Word up. But yeah, Word up. Absolutely. I think that's be do it. Uh, you know, hit us up in the likes, comments, and all that stuff because, you know, that's not why we do it. But it's nice to see, you know what I mean. And um, yep. and and also if there's anything that you guys would su- suggest that is hardcore related, that you might be like, hey, if you if they have if Blue and Scar hasn't heard much hardcore. What what would you guys suggest they listen to next after Turnstile? I mean, I have some, yeah. a few suggestions, but like, be cool to hear from you guys too. But for sure. So I think that would do. do I think that'll do it. <laughs> I just need to lay off the beer, dog. I love it. I love it. We do a peace out to the wars. Peace out to everybody. Because like Chase, Chase is off that beer right now, bro. <laughs> Chase off that pumpkin pie, son. <laughs> off that pumpkin pie, dog. Like, no. <laughs> I wanted to loosen up for a little bit for the reactions, but it's fucking me up. I, and I'm talking I about it. hardcore. There's a lot of straight edge people in hardcore, and so you know. Oh, so. I love it. No, Chase, Chase I love it, man. I, I love it, but if you you yeah. gonna get these jokes coming? Absolutely. You know who you with right now. <laughs> Thank you.